What's going on guys? Shane aka Musty Yeti here. Thanks for joining me. Hope you're all doing great. In today's video, I'm going to be the one that's going to show you how to install your brand new Tyrant Design Slide Stop Slide Release onto your Glock pistol. Now I've had these for a little over a week now and I absolutely love them and I'm sure you will too. So let's not waste any time. Let's show you how quick and how easy it is to get these things installed. Let's get started. All right, guys, here we are over the table. Now, before we do the actual install, I want to talk about the uh, timer design slide stop slide release just a little bit. Uh, first, I want to talk about its looks. As you guys can see, this thing is just a vast improvement over the look of the factory uh, slide stop slide release. Now, when it comes to functionality, this thing is leaps and bounds better than what comes from the factory on your Glock. If you guys take a look at this thing, you'll see that it is um, it is really, really thin and it rides really close to the frame and some find it actually um, difficult to actuate this slide stop slide release because of that. Now the Tyrant Designs is quite a bit uh, thicker. It's not crazy, but trust me, it's just enough to make this thing super easy to use. Not only is it a little bit thicker, but it also sits off the frame just a little bit more to make it again easier to actuate. And those cosmetic lines that they put in here help a ton in getting good grip on your slide stop slide release when you need to actually use this thing. Now when it comes to the install itself, you're gonna need very little tools here. You're gonna need um, a Glock tool if you have one. I lent one out to a friend, it's gone forever. So instead of that, we're gonna use some punches here. You're gonna need a roll of tape to um, put some distance between your frame and the table itself so those pins can drop free. And a hammer if need be to tap those um, pins out. Now obviously we wanna be as safe as possible. We wanna make sure there's no ammo in the gun, there's no ammo on the table, no ammo in the room. You don't want it in reach where an accident can happen. All right, so once you've checked all those boxes, it's time to remove the slide from the frame because you don't need or want it on this thing when you're working, obviously. To do that, we're gonna remove the uh, magazine. As you see, there's no ammo in there. You're going to rock the slide back. You're going to uh, visually and physically inspect, make sure there's no uh, ammo in the chamber. There isn't. You're going to point the gun in a safe direction. You're going to pull the trigger, rock the slide on back, pull the takedown levers, and slide it home. You're not going to need uh, the slide anymore until you're done with this uh, work, so you're going to go ahead and set it off to the side. As you can see, we've already installed uh, the Tyrant Designs uh, slide stop on this one, so we're going to go ahead and uh, work on the uh, Polymer 80, the green frame here. Now, before we get to this install, guys, I want to preface that this obviously is a Polymer 80 frame, and these holes were hand drilled out by me, which means that they're not exact, they're not perfect like they are in a factory Glock. So I might run into some uh, hitches here where these holes aren't exactly perfect, but they will be hopefully uh, with your Glock, uh, your factory Glock. So if I run into any hiccups, that's just me in this um, Polymer 80 frame, not um, a reflection of the part or the process for installing it. So you're gonna wanna set your uh, frame on that roll of tape. You wanna make sure the muzzle is facing to your left. Uh, and you're gonna want to pop out the bottom pin here. You're not gonna have to worry with the top. Let's go and get the camera a little bit closer while we do this install so you guys can see exactly how this works. All right guys, before we go ahead and knock this bottom pin out, I wanna to talk to you about how this works a little bit. Uh, so what's going on here is that pin is actually going through your uh, slide stop, slide release lever, and then there is a notch on this pin that uh, this arm rides on to keep it in place. So what you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to wiggle this thing, push it back and forth while you're knocking uh, this pin out. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and again, set your frame on your tape, make sure it's uh, muzzle facing to your left. Um, I find it easier if I do that and then turn it toward me a little bit so I can with my offhand um, hold the, the punch while also moving this lever a little bit with my pinky or another finger while I knock this through. Um, I'll start this process, but this is going to be loud and again, it's a little more difficult with the Palmer 80 frame. So I'll start it um, and then we'll come right back when we got this thing pushed all the way through. All right, the pin has come out, as you can see there. We're going to put up in our uh, bin up there. So we're going to go ahead and remove uh, your uh, factory slide stop. And as you can see, it comes right out. And hopefully, I'll get a close up here. I hope you guys can see, but right here between the trigger and the inside wall of the frame is where your new uh, slide stop is. Let me see, get it going here. As you can see, there's that notch, and your slide stop's going to go ahead and slide on into that notch. And it's going to, the spring on the slide stop is going to come in contact with that top pin that's going to provide uh, the spring tension for your slide stop. 
All right, so again, we're going to go ahead and install the uh, Tyrant Design slide stop into that slot there, and as you can see, we're good to go. We're going to then put the pistol facing uh, muzzle to the right, and we're gonna put the pin back in. It's gonna be the exact same process as before, guys, but in reverse. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your hole for your trigger lined up here, and also you might have to do some wiggling of your uh, slide stop, uh, slide release as well when you do this. Again, uh, if you have a Glock, you should almost be able to do this by hand just by pushing this in. Maybe the assistance of a tool, but for me, again, my tolerances are so tight or maybe even off that uh, this can be a little bit uh, difficult. So we already got the trigger there uh, pushed in. We're gonna go ahead and see if we can get this tapped the rest of the way through. Let's see. All right, that's it. Let's flip this sucker over. Take a look, she's working. Let's go ahead and get this sucker put back together and see the final look of this thing. All right guys, when it comes time to put your pistol back together, it's sort of like the pin, you're doing the exact same process that you took it down, but in reverse. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our slide, make sure our recoil spring is uh, seated properly. Gonna put it on the rails, gonna go ahead and rock it, make sure it's good to go, double, double check everything, make sure it's pointing in the safe direction, make sure your trigger still works, reset, you always wanna check things when you take it apart. You want to check that slide stop. Ooh, yeah, check the slide stop. Make sure that it's working properly. Man, that thing feels good. Uh, and then you are pretty much uh, good to go. All right, guys, I think that about wraps up on how to install your brand new Tyrant Design slide stop um, onto your Glock pistol. As you guys can see, it is a breeze to do, and it drastically improves the looks, but more importantly, the functionality of your pistol. Now, if you guys uh, found this video informative or you wanted to see more videos on uh, this pistol or other guns I have in my collection, uh, feel free to come check me out on YouTube or Instagram. I'm Must Yeti on both. You can't miss me. I'm also on Facebook as well. Uh, come check me out. Uh, subscribe to see more videos like this. And that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you found it informative. Take care. Stay safe. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.